What's going on jams and jambits? It's Fire Monkey here and in today's YouTube video we'll be going through all of the brand new cosmetics added in the V29.10 update including Lego forms of stuff, what's going on at festival, rocket racing things, and more. So let's just kind of dive into it. Now I do have some stuff from the old last version of Fortnite in here as well just so we have a decent amount of stuff we can actually look at because some things that were old got some changes. But let's start it off right here with Guardians of the Galaxy X Fortnite. We are kind of getting a movie collaboration here starting off with Drax this is going to be one of the three skins you'll be able to buy in a real money bundle which will include skins back blings and pickaxes so it is nice to see that we're getting one of these bundles once again however it is a little interesting to see how it's a real money only bundle and it's the first time in a while we've actually seen Marvel skins get added to the game as we haven't really had any for a few seasons now after that we got Mantis which is actually reactive here now I'm not for sure if we actually sit here and watch it if it'll show any of that reactivity but of course we can kind of just sit here what I think is going on here is the little antennas at the very top they change right they're glowing when it's nighttime and they're not glowing when it's daytime and that's kind of my theory on how the reactivity actually works but there's your mantis skin a part of the collaboration and then we have young adult Groot now this is something I wasn't really expecting because we already have a Groot skin that was in the battle pass before so seeing how we're getting another Groot and they're just kind of you know using a different version of him in order to make it work is super interesting but I think it shows what they can do for the future Future. They can release different versions of cosmetics and characters we've already seen so that they can actually make it so if it was a battle pass exclusive You can get it in the item shop, right? And I feel like they'll end up doing this more and more as we get new Marvel movies and stuff coming out like Deadpool For example, right? I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up getting like a movie version of Deadpool in the item shop So people can still enjoy that skin But that is the three main skins a part of the brand new Guardians of the Galaxy collaboration And before we kind of talk about some of these other cosmetics, let's go down here to Nike X Fortnite this this is the Airforia Volume 2 collaboration, and we have two different skins this time around. First off, we have the Airforian skin with three variants right here, the Anthracite version right here, the Royal Volt version right here, as you can see, they all kind of match the different shoe themes you got going on here, and then the Laser Orange variant right here as well. Now, this is something I'm excited to see because when we had the Airforia Volume 1 collaboration, we saw these little blob creatures around the island, and a lot of people were like, oh man, I wish that was a skin, I would use that, right? And here he is. He might not be the exact same blob creature but at the end of the day you know he's an adorable lovable blob shoe creature that I definitely want to use and wear in the game just because I kind of think he's goofy right in a very odd but fun way we also have Eclipse right here which is a very unique skin to see a part of this collaboration with two different variants we have the day variant right here and if you actually look we have some like little emojis coming off the top of the head there you know all Nike themed and stuff we even got little like stickers in the back with their own glows and everything but we also have a night variant which is kind of the exact same thing but with a purple and black theme going on instead of the white and blue theme and I think it looks super sick and also overall it's just kind of interesting to see how they're changing up how they make the Nike skins in order to still have the branding and everything on there but just make them look super unique in their own ways where it doesn't just make you think of shoes when you're looking at the skin but of course I definitely think that they went all out on the volume 2 bundle here for the Nike collaboration because I love both of these skins I think they're really unique in their own ways and they're really fun to see next up however we have Aubrey right here which is going to be sold in the item shop and has a very simple edit style right here to take the glasses on or off now I do think that the skin is somewhat unfinished because I think I saw a bundle in the files that kind of didn't have the proper data in there however I could be wrong about that right currently we don't have mappings as the time you're recording this video so we do have pretty scuffed leaks except for private servers of course but I do think this is a very nice skin to see in the game and it is an old survey skin right from one of the old survey concepts or whatever we got before this was one of those characters that were in there so it's nice to see it transformed into the Fortnite version next up we have Sharon or Charon however you say you know I probably butchered it Sharon whatever else and this is kind of a revamped redesigned version of Oro to match this whole entire entire you know theme we've got going on here being the ferryman in the Styx River right so it's nice to see that we're getting some themed cosmetics for the Greek mythology theme and it's just kind of cool to see right now of course since we're on the Greek mythology theme I guess I might as well talk about Ascendant Midas. Ascendant Midas isn't just normal Midas this time around but also has a few extra styles. First off it is reactive to kill so the more kills you get the more golden your Midas actually becomes here however it's not just normal Midas right first off you can enable or disable the reactivity as you would like but we also have this shade Midas variant added in this update which looks super sick you guys know I'm a sucker for green so seeing this right here was absolutely 
really baffling in my opinion because I love the color scheme and now I really want to buy a Midas skin because of the fact that it's got some green going on with it. Now of course once you become fully golden it kind of gets rid of the whole entire shade effect but it is cool to see if you turn the reactivity off you can kind of just have this skin right here. The downside is if you turn reactivity off on the shade version you don't get these little light effects right. I think that might be an actual glitch with this uh, option being disabled but at the same time you know if it is a glitch and doesn't show up in game I'm sure people will complain about it because it is Midas at the end of the day and it'll get fixed very quickly in another update. But with that said we got three more cosmetics to kind of scroll through here. We got the Curious skin which is set to be sold in a bundle. This one doesn't really have much going on with it, no edit styles or anything else, but it is nice to see kind of this theme they've got going on there. We have ourselves the Hail skin right here which kind of gives me another vibe of like, I, I don't know, right? The face or something about it just reminds me of Hades in a weird way, like the video game, but I, I could just be kind of thinking and being delusional at 4 in the morning or 5 a.m. Who really knows here? And then we have the Dynamic Hush skin which has already been advertised and should be in the item shop within the next few days this has this normal variant right here but also a gold variant as well for you to enjoy now this one is confirmed to be item shops and it will have its own bundle so that is nice to know especially if you're someone who wants to pick up all the cosmetics a part of this set here but with that said let's go ahead you know pop on Midas because we all know that's a fan favorite in the community and move over to the back blings we have Drax's blade as a back bling right here which is actually going to be synergized with the pickaxe where when you use the pickaxes they get pulled out of the back bling and you know you have those empty spots back there we have Groot's gamepad which you can't really see it from this angle but if we move it a little bit to the right you can see that this gamepad is playing Fortnite Battle Royale that is a very small screen to be playing it on but you know what if Groot's been vibing on it, vibing on it and he's been enjoying it then who's to really blame him and then we have the little abelisk back bling right here as well now I didn't mention this in my tweet about this but I really wanted to he drools if you just sit here and look at him, you can see the drool and stuff just kind of dripping off right there, right? This is a back bling you can use. It's a part of the collaboration, and I wish it was a pet, right? It's labeled as a back bling, not a pet, so you can't actually go up to someone wearing this and pet the abelisk or whatever, but it would be really cool to see if they ended up changing that later down the line so that you could pet it. However, knowing Epic Games and how they disown the pet feature in the game, I wouldn't be surprised if they just never touch that and just leave it as a normal back bling. We have the OG Max back bling right here, which is the little character that's advertising the Airforia Volume 2 collaboration not much to really write home about this I'm not for sure if we have any other collabs that are part of the same set right here I could kind of you know glance through nope it doesn't look like anything is a part of that same set but it is something to see there we have the avatar cycle back bling right here for the core collaboration which will be available very very soon you'll be able to earn these if you own the battle pass by doing some quest line stuff in order to get Korra the variants and everything else which we will showcase towards the end of the video so stay tuned as well as the super level variants we have the golden knights cape back bling right here for Midas which once again has that reactivity option for it which allows you to actually turn it more and more golden depending on how many eliminations you get and I'll let this go ahead and go all the way down but you also have the shade variant as an option and I think that is just a super sick in my opinion right having all these variants with synergy with each other where it's like oh if you unlock the shade variant or whatever else you can just kind of use it right you can use it on all the cosmetics instead of like super level variants where it's locked to just the skin itself so seeing that is super duper cool and I'm a sucker for green of course but for some of the other cosmetics we got the pop dog right here I, I, I don't really know what to say about this right it reminds me of those little like dog chew toys we got ourselves the six skiff right here for that new Sharon skin. You can see little tokens in the middle of this little like boat ferry you got going on. We have ourselves the FNCS Guardian back bling for the brand new FNCS upcoming drops you'll be able to earn on the official website. We have ourselves the Hush hard case back bling as well with what looks to be a little grenade canisters on the sides. And then we got the Pathwalkers pack back bling, which has a sword attached to it. But of course, speaking of swords, we got to go over to the pickaxes. First off, we have Drax's blade right here I'll go ahead and swing it for you guys and I will kind of you know if the UI wants to work with me please there we go you can see the little hit effect I'm not gonna put too much effort into it because the UI sucks okay like, like if I move my mouse a micro centimeter off it's just going to break it right but we got the floor Colossus fist pickaxe right here with a standard you know wooden hit then we got the insectoid claws pickaxe right here as well it has a very nice little like green hit effect. We got the Vacan hack, which is part of that Nike collaboration. It's still kind of got the little like lines and emojis coming off of it as well. Has a very unique hit particle, and because this one is super unique, I'm gonna hit it a second time. 
As you can see, it does a little heart and brings out little particles all over the place. We have the Water Bindles Batter Fan. What did I just say? The Water Benders Battle Fans right here. Go ahead and swing it for you guys. This will be unlockable in the Battle Pass for the core request and everything else. We got ourselves the Spear of Inquiry, which we'll go ahead and swing it once again. We got ourselves the Starbite Slashers, which if I can swing it right there for you guys. Got ourselves the Golden Touch Pickaxe right here, which I will go ahead and swing if it lets me. And then we will go ahead and change over to the Shade variant, swing that one as well. As you see, the effect actually does change, which doesn't always happen, but it is nice to see. We got the Immortal War Doru back, or not backling, but pickaxe right here, with actual hit animations and everything else. Looks pretty sick, and we have an edit style for all the different versions, because this is for Ares, which is this month's crew pack. We got, of course, the War Gods Legacy, the Auroric Legacy, the Phase Legacy, the Rhymebound Legacy, and then the Cosmic Legacy towards the end there. Got ourselves the Silent Sting pickaxe right here. And then we got ourselves the Stingy and Ore pickaxe. Now we'll go ahead and swing that as well. Very unique hit animations and stuff they got going on across all the cosmetics. Very nice to see. For gliders, we get ourselves the Korra's Air Glider, which I think is very simple and very nice. And you can see it's one of the hang gliders. You got the little front pieces there, as you do in typical Fortnite fashion. And then we got ourselves the Hellstorm Rider Glider, which I'm speculating is going to be a free glider just because it's very basic. It's not even in a set. It's uncommon rarity. And it says Whiplash at the top, right? Or at least it's trying to say Whiplash, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if this is some sort of free reward. For Contrails, we got ourselves the Avatar's Descent Contrail right here. Very nice design we got going on. And then nothing new for Auras. Now, as we go into the other categories, we got some emotes to show you guys. So let's start it off with a potted group dance right here. I'll go ahead and just sit back, let it play for a little bit here. It is nice to see that we're actually getting some of these goofier emotes in the game. And I just kind of think it's fun seeing, you know, the potted group dance being available for us to do on our normal character. For the second one, however, in the Marvel collaboration, we have the Zargnut Invisibility Emote, which is obviously a reference to Drac being invisible, right? As you can see right here, slowly just dipping your hands into the Zargnut and then slowly bringing one up and trying to pop it in your mouth. And it kind of just like in this normal version, you can see kind of like just gets guided in there, but it's a pretty nice fling into your mouth, right? I don't know why I'm commentating on that specifically, but it is nice to see. We got ourselves the fresh out of the box Nike collaboration emote as well, which is oddly goofy in my opinion. I don't know what it is about this, but it's just just seeing a box open and then this mascot guy just kind of decide la -da 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 -da, out of nowhere. It just feels odd to me. We got the wishing emote, which is going to be sold in the item shop, which is a little goofy and, you know, just funny to see. As you see, once you actually blow out all the things, they end up flying right back at you and you're coughing them up. Realistic experience, by the way. And then we got the Avatar's Flourish emote, which is also one of the rewards you'll be able to get from the Korra quest line. Now, in terms of other stuff we got going on here, we have the Determined Korra Spray. We have ourselves the Gnome Rave Spray. We have ourselves the Horde's Hunt Spray. And then we have the Korra Reacts Emoticon. Now, something you may have noticed here is two of those aren't really like the other. While two of them are the Korra Cosmetics that you'll be able to earn in the Battle Pass, we have the Gnome Rave Spray right here and the Horde's Hunt Spray, which are actually going to be upcoming rewards for Save the World. Something that's kind of, you know, pretty fun to see and just kind of interesting overall. And nice to know that Save the World is still getting some form of cosmetic support as things go on now as we kind of go through here and everything else let's go on down to the wraps and look at what we got going on we got the golden ascension wrap for midas which is animated and reactive now i don't think i can actually show the reactivity yep i can't but as you get eliminations it becomes more and more golden so it starts off with that green little fog but then you can get yourself a golden gun on basically any midas skin right the best of both worlds got ourselves the bright spots animated wrap right here Nothing too crazy, just, you know, dots going in one direction. The cobble tone wrap right here, which is animated and reactive. When it's animated, it just kind of goes through in a cobblestone pattern with random colors. But whenever you shoot it, if we can go ahead and do that right here, it all turns yellow and then it all just kind of, you know, scatters and before it goes through the normal rotation once again. Got ourselves the pin bolt reactive wrap right here. Now, this one I tried triggering, but I'm just unable to. It, it doesn't give me the option, but as you can see by the icon, I assume as you shoot or get eliminations, it's going to put pins on your actual wrap, so it's kind of like a elimination counter tracker of some sorts. 
Now, if we go over here, we got ourselves the Shades Promise Reactive Wrap. Now, this one is very quick, but when I press Trigger Weapon, focus on the eyes. It is very, very quick. As you can see, the eyes kind of like glow and then go away. So it is nice to see, but you know, nothing too crazy there. And then we've got the Water Tribe Colors Wrap as well. As we go down, we're getting closer to the end, I promise here. Got ourselves a few uh, loading screens. I'm not going to go full screen on all of these, but you can get a general idea from here. Got Balanced Korra. We got ourselves Bolt of Light. Got ourselves Call of the Highway. We got ourselves Chain of the Stars. We got ourselves the Will and Wild LEGO Fortnite loading screen. Got ourselves the Rise of Midas loading screen. We have the Maxed Out Portal loading screen. We have ourselves the Core loading screen. And then finally, we got the Constellation Wings loading screen. So a lot of loading screens here. Now, something to mention is these Constellation ones, like Chain of Stars, Bolt of Light, and Constellation's Wings, are going to be rewards for participating in the Ranked Cups. And then, for example, the Rise of Midas loading screen right here was for participating in the recent Midas Cup that happened and earning at least 8 points. Now, I'm up for sure if you can actually obtain this loading screen through the bundle, but it at least appears to be somewhat exclusive to people who played in that tournament. Now as we go down here we have one new instrument being the metronome uh, drum set right here and as someone who's been praying and talking non-stop about how he wants more drums in the game I'm excited to see them actually doing that and making fancy drums with particle effects and tons of cool little stuff that makes my mind go awooga right? So we're going to be getting these in the item shop very soon very nice to see they got leaked before but it was unfinished during that update and it's just kind of there now. Now in terms of other stuff we got going on we have the Mazamune car right here which has a lot of options you're able to to mess around with you have the different painted styles if you actually buy the bundle and didn't own you know a version before or whatever else you got all the different color options you're able to use on it but we also have some different decals as well so we got ourselves dj slushy and i'm going to go ahead and make the car body darker so that we can actually see these decals well we got ourselves dj slushy right here or sushi my bad got ourselves the otaku one got ourselves road rage got ourselves stars Got ourselves Stripes, and then we got ourselves Wildfire. Now, we don't have any new wills this update, but something we did get is a set of new decals that you're actually able to use on the Octane. So, as you can see right here, we got the Bombers decal. We have ourselves the Express decal. We got ourselves the uh, Kodiak's decal. I probably butchered that, and I apologize. And the Mammoth's decal. This is for the City Slam event that's currently going on in Rocket League right now. But it's nice to see that it's actually coming to Fortnite with different decals for the Octane. As I mentioned, no new wills. We did get some new trails, however. As you can see, we got the Cypher trail right here, which does have a lot of different color options you're able to use when you actually purchase this in the item shop. So that's nice to see. And then we also have ourselves the Friction trail right here as well with different color options once again. Now, as you see, as we go over here, we got like the yellow one, got ourselves like the pink one, a lot of different options to actually choose from and use. And it has a little bit of like a glow that actually shows on your back wheels when this trail is active. Then for boost, we got ourselves the magic missile right here, which does also have, once again, different color options available for you to use. This one will be sold in the item shop as well, but it's nice to see them just adding more support overall for rocket racing. Now, with all of that said, there's only one final thing we have left to do, which is hop on over to LEGO Fortnite and show you the different skins in their LEGO Fortnite form. And because this is just kind of looking at this, it will be very quick. You got a send up Midas right here. We got ourselves Young Adult Groot, which kind of just looks like a normal Groot in a way. We got ourselves Mantis. We got ourselves Drax. We got ourselves whatever this is. I, I, look, I love the Airforian skin in Battle Royale, but what what is this? Who, who, the, the, he went to his barber and asked for like a little off the top or something and they just went and just kind of turned his hand into like a thumb or like an eraser that people use in school. I, I don't know, you know, I, I, but I, I oddly love it because it's just so goofy. Got ourselves the Eclipse skin right here, which this looks a lot nicer. We got ourselves Aubrey. We have Sharon. We got ourselves Curious. We have Dynamic Hush. And then finally, we have ourselves Hail. Now, I'm going to put this skin back on because we have to also show the Lego forms of the new emotes to end off today's video. So let's hop on over there and allow you guys to watch this creation do the different Lego emotes, right? Because I I, I just got to do it. So we got the potted Groot dance right here. As you can see, he, he's, getting, he's getting his jams on in the Lego mode. Just look at his face. You can tell he's happy about it. However, something I wasn't expecting comes with the next two emotes. So as we actually go over here, and you know, I let this play for a little a bit longer so you guys get the kind of the vibes there we look here and that's not a legoified bag 
That, that's not Legoified food. That, 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 he's, he's just using normal, real-world bags and food now, right? It's like, I'm so used to them making Lego versions of everything, and you will see a Lego version of something a little bit later, that seeing a Battle Royale version being held by a Lego creature is just odd in some way to me. We also have the fresh out of the box uh, emote right here, which once again has kind of that weird fusion of here's a Lego person holding this non Lego themed thing, right? It's something I wasn't expecting. I was thought it would have been a lot cooler to have a Lego version, but hey, you know, you get what you get. We have the wishing emote right here, which actually does have a Lego version. This was what I was expecting with everything else. Maybe it's because it's collaborations. So maybe that's why they're actually not Legoified or something like that. But you know, nice little emote right there. And then finally, we get Avatar's Flourish. Now, of course, that's not where the video ends. I know, I know, you guys are like, Fire Monkey, you're yapping, it's 20 minutes long, but we gotta talk about the actual changes to the Battle Pass, right? We gotta talk about the Korra Cosmetics, and we gotta go ahead and talk to you guys about the bonus rewards. So let's head over to the bonus rewards first. As you can see right here, we have the brand new Super Level Variants being stingy on for the first year right here. We have ourselves, you know, this nice green theme. And as you guys know, I'm a sucker for green. So, you know, I absolutely love this. I'm going to be rocking all of them. We have ourselves, for example, Aphrodite with that green effect going on. And if we actually wait a moment here, it should switch to the other variant of Aphrodite. Yep, right there. You can see that even that like pink variant she has gets that green effect on it as well, which is very nice to see. We got Hades, which gets that green variant right here. However, something interesting as well is that his secondary variant apparently gets it as well. Yeah, as you can see, I can't really tell too much of a change. Also, I wasn't really paying too much attention, but that very, oh yeah, I, okay, now I see it. You know, I'm just blind, but that variant does get little changes here and there, and that's nice to see. Then, of course, we got Stingy and Medusa, which I think just looks nice on Medusa, right? There's not really too much to yap about with this, right? It's just Medusa. It looks pretty cool. I definitely would be rocking any of the green tier stuff. That's my favorite and you know overall thumbs up on tier one for tier three we got the olympian version right here which is a blue variant as you can see we all have, like the blue eyes going on as well however the characters get blonde hair in this version which was kind of unexpected but at the same time you know i'm not complaining we have ourselves hades right here which gets a lot of that like purplish pink going on there with the blue and of course as we go to the second variant right here you get the little particle effects you know the flames and everything else going on as well we have ourselves artemis right here which doesn't have any real variant changes you know that we're able to view in this menu but there's a blue version for her we got um, olympian medusa right here which has the yellow snakes in the hair and everything else and then as we switch to the other variant you can see how it looks with kind of like that armor on you know jacket off version right there as well looks pretty nice i definitely think that you know i'm more of a sucker for green just because it's my favorite color but you can still enjoy these right i mean especially for zeus this feels so zeusified right this feels like it was meant for zeus right here and then for the final tier we got Titan Flame, and I gotta admit, Titan Flame kind of looking kind of sick, right? You got the black hair, you got the red flames going on everywhere. I actually kind of like these. It's a shocker to say I like some super level variants, but I kind of do, right? You know, tier one and tier three, my favorites. Tier one, number one, tier three, number two, and then tier two, number three, or whatever. That's a weird way of saying it. You can see how the variant looks on Aphrodite right here. You can see how it looks on Zeus as well, with the flames and everything else going on. You can see how it looks on Artemis right here. And of course, we can't view what the mask up version looks like because we're on a private server and I don't have them equipped in my inventory. And then we can also view it on Hades. Now, Hades looks kind of off to me in this. I've preferred the other ones when it comes to this variant. Okay, actually, you know, in this style right here, this version, this is a Hades I can get behind, right? Having the flames and stuff really adds to the effect a lot more. So, you know, I take back what I was going to say, right? Hades, you look sick in this version. I'm proud of you. However, we have one more set of things to talk about. So let's talk about the Korra rewards. We got ourselves the Korra loading screen. We got ourselves the Avatar's Descent Contrail we already talked about. We got ourselves the Determined Korra Spray. We have the Water Tribe Colors Wrap. We got ourselves the Waterbender's Battle Fans. And oh my god, what happened to his hands? I, I was not expecting that. Oh my. Uh, we also have the Korra skin right here, of course, that you'll be able to earn. However, on page two, we get to see one of the variants I haven't showed you guys yet. So we got the Balance Korra loading screen, we get the Korra Reacts animated emoticon, we get ourselves the Avatar Cycle back bling, we have Korra's air glider once again, we have ourselves the Avatar's flourish emote once again, and then we have ourselves the balanced variant of Korra. As you can see right here, this is what it looks like. 
looks very unique. I was not expecting this to be the variant, but you know what? I'm not complaining, but you also get a banner entirely for free as a bonus for getting that reward as well. You can see the avatar banner right here, and this is only part one of the collaboration because we're getting the avatar last airbender event mini pass later on in the next update. So it's definitely something to stay tuned for, but we have a lot of cosmetics added, a lot of changes to stuff going on there. And let me know in the comments down below. What did you think about all this? Are you excited? Do you not really care too much? And until next time, I'll catch you guys a little bit later with another upload. Peace out.